In this video, I'm talking about how I paid off my student loans early. I'm making this video for those of you who are like me, who don't live at home with mom and dad, don't make some crazy amount of hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, and who didn't receive some lump sum from the sky to just wipe away your debt. We're talking about realistic ways that I paid off my student debt that I'm going to share with you today right now. stuff sprinkled in there so give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe so you don't miss another video so let's get into it in my last video you saw my actual real live raw reaction to paying my student loans off and if you haven't seen that check it out by clicking the link up above or in the description bar below but I told you in that video that I would make this video and so my first realistic piece of advice is to get a second job getting a second job assumes you have a first job which yeah that's exactly what I'm saying how I paid off my student loan debt early was I got a second job over the years I've had many second jobs um, for five and a half years I worked retail as a second job I've also been a freelance graphic designer a freelance website designer and those things have brought in additional incomes in this age of information you can literally google anything you want you can work for instacart doordash uber eats you can be a freelancer you can work remotely during the wee hours of the night if you need to and if you say well i don't have any skills that i can monetize guess what there's the internet google it if you want to learn something go on youtube you know, there's a, so many places for you to learn new school. You can even ask someone who, you know, hey, like that's really cool. How do you, you're a plumber. How do, how do you fix stuff like that? Maybe it's your aunt or your uncle or your parents or your cousins or your friends, whoever, ask to shadow them and learn a new skill and see if you can be their assistant. Just stay safe while you're doing it. YouTube is a side hustle. You know, I get a little modest income from YouTube. So use whatever skills and talents you have to find a second job that will give you additional money that you can use to pay off your student loan debt next thing i did to pay off my student loan debt early was to take care of my first job yeah the first tip was talking about your second job and the second tip is talking about your first your main hustle this is the job that brings in the most income for you while you're at this job there are three things to keep in mind first tip is for those of you who are looking for that first job to begin with or for those of you who have a job and you're looking for another one. Try to find a job with some type of career progression. So as you're job searching, look for terms like career progression or career ladder. Another keyword is developmental program. So look for developmental programs that'll start you off at the lowest grade for now, but then over the span of a couple years, you're guaranteed increases so long as you perform favorably for the company. That's something that I was able to do. By the grace of God, I started off in one salary and over the years, I was guaranteed an increase in pay so long as I had positive work performance, which I did. And that leads me to the next point of working your current job is be a rock star in your position. Like I wouldn't have gotten those career salary increases if I wasn't performing well. If you're at a job that doesn't offer any type of career progression like that, just be a rock star, man, and be a rock star and get those bonuses. If you work hard, you show up early, you leave late, you do what needs to be done without being told, and you are just on your game every single day of the work week, high performers get bonuses. And bonuses can help you pay off your debt early. So be a rock star on your job, get those bonuses, get those awards, do what you need to do to perform at a level of excellence that will equate to a monetary value that will then be used to pay off your debt. And since you're at your main job, check to see what benefits are offered. Some places offer a sign-up bonus or a student loan repayment or forgiveness type of incentive to their employees. Or if they don't offer those, some other companies offer tax breaks or pre-tax programs for their health insurance, which means their tax burden is less to the IRS for those of us who are in the States, meaning more cash in your pocket so that you can pay off the debts. Also look for things like commuter benefits programs, like free parking. Heck, do they even have lunch, free lunches at your job? Take advantage of all those things to get more money in your pocket to pay down debt. Speaking of taxes, you have to pay taxes to the IRS regardless of where you work. It doesn't matter if it's government, private, or nonprofit. Check the IRS for any tax benefits you may receive on a yearly basis, whether you're in school and you receive a benefit, or you can deduct student loan interest up to a certain amount if you hit 
a certain dollar threshold. So that's more money in your pocket come January, February, March tax time. And those big tax breaks can be applied to your student loan debt. We're talking about hundreds, thousands of dollars here. So check those out. The third tip I have for you is to just take care of your stuff. To pay off my student loan debt, I took care of the stuff I had. And people don't really mention this, but if you take care of the stuff you actually own now, it's less likely to break later. So for instance, I got my car that I took to work, I got regular oil changes with coupon codes, mind you, so that my car wouldn't break down. You know, I'm still rocking with my iPhone 6S. Yeah, I didn't get the 7, 8, 9, the 10, the 11, or the 12. If, if your stuff works just fine, don't replace it. Like if you're looking at a thousand dollar phone every single year they come up with a new one, it's gonna be harder and harder to pay off that debt. But if you just keep what you have in great and excellent condition, you don't have to buy another one. The only thing I have to buy every couple of years is a new case because this thing gets ragged and I'd rather pay that $12 for the case to keep the phone in excellent condition that I have then thousands of dollars for a new phone later. The same thing applies to cars, bags, clothes. If you keep up with what you have, then you're not gonna spend more money on that later. And by not spending more money later, that's more money in your pocket. Those so same lines, don't mistreat yourself or misplace it. Keep keep track of your stuff, okay? I, I don't know, I mean, there's so many people who, you know, I lost my stuff, I lost my phone, I've gotta buy a new one, I lost my bag. Don't lose your stuff. Keep up with it, be good to your stuff, and it will be good to you in the long term and will hopefully last you like my stuff has lasted like this sweater y'all this sweater is like years old and why because i took care of it and i'm not buying a new one because that's more money that i want to put towards my student loan debt repayment than to buy something new that i just neglected over time and along those same lines my next tip is to sell your stuff if your stuff is in good condition and you've been taking care of it and say you don't need it, then sell it. I did this to pay off my student loan debt early. I told you before I worked retail for five and a half years and as I aged, I grew out of my clothes. And so I had a bunch of really nice clothes, shoes, bags, blazers that I put up on eBay and I sold them and that got me quite a pretty penny. I made a couple of hundreds of dollars. Poshmark, there's Offer Up, there's Facebook Marketplace. There's so many places where you can sell your stuff if it's in pretty good condition and reap some of that money back to put towards your student loan debt. Tip number five is one of the biggest tips that really, really helped me pay off my student loan debt early. It is to create a spending strategy or a budget and stick to it. I know so many people who make the best spending strategies when they ask me, how'd you pay off your debt? And I said, I had a budget, I had a spending strategy and they make one and it is fabulous, but they don't ever stick to it. Like once you make a budget, stick to it and cut out the unnecessary. If it's not housing or electricity, water, or for groceries or gas, or just to get you to and from work, it is it necessary? You know, and a little bit of fun money, don't forget a little bit of fun money in there. You can't just go cold turkey. So include that in there. But at, outside of that modest budget, do you really need it? Like, do you really need the meat subscription? Do you need the luxury skincare subscription? Like, let's be honest, you don't need it. You really want it and you wanna justify it. And I did that myself for a couple of things. I tried to justify all I could and guess what? It took me a little bit longer to pay off the debt than what really needed to. Write down your expenses, your must have your bills, your student loan payments, everything that is a hard and fast bill and then everything else is really extra and is up to your control. So once you actually have all your spending on lock and you know how much your student loans are, how much you owe to who, what the interest rates are, you write those down too, you actually find out that outside of your needs, you might actually have quite a bunch of money. I found out that I was throwing away hundreds of dollars a month on just crazy stupid crap. So once I wrote everything down in a budget, I took that extra money and said, hey, look, Outside of this little fun money I'm gonna have, everything else went to pay down debt and boy did it start, whew, did that debt start rolling away. Since food is one of my biggest categories, I did a whole video of my grocery budget, you know, how I spent 150 bucks for my grocery budget. I have another video for if you're just starting off with a grocery budget, how to do it and stay tuned because I'm actually gonna share with you my actual Excel budget tracker sheet, something that you can um, download and get into from there if you need help setting up your grocery bill budget because that's how I saved a lot of money. Stay tuned and click subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified for when that video will come out. But definitely keep track of your spending. 
know where your money is going and anything extra just put towards your debt right along with that my sixth tip is to use coupons discounts and apps to save you money that you can put towards debt I do not go grocery shopping. I do not buy anything without first checking for a coupon code. Y'all, Retail Me Not is my best friend. I will not pay full price for something. I will buy it on a discount. I will use a coupon. And for some of the stuff that I already buy, I check to see if there are coupons or discounts that can be applied. For instance, like I mentioned, one of my favorite things to do is spend money on food and when I was paying off my student loan debt one of the ways I was able to pay it off early was I set aside a modest amount I kid you not 20 to 40 dollars a month not a week a month for eating out and so I would go to Popeye's my favorite fried chicken restaurant I would have a coupon that was either sent to me in the mail or I looked up online to give to them to get a discount off that meal in addition to that on my receipt I just flipped to the back and guess what there's another coupon on there for free food all I had to do was fill out a survey about my experience which only took about two minutes so boom not only did I use a coupon to buy the food but then I received another coupon in return for free food so look for discounts like that that'll help save you money on the stuff that you already buy use that money to help pay down your debt so a few other discounts and deals to look out for are those free rewards programs so if you have a modest budget for like Chipotle or Panera or at a grocery store those little key fobs that save you money sign up for those you also find discounts with automatic withdrawals if your student loan servicer offers a quarter percent interest rate discount for automatic payments then set up the automatic payments by all means reduce your burden in the long term and it'll help you pay off those loans early or if there's any type of incentive right now for federal student loans they're offering zero percent interest and deferred payments know the terms and see if it makes sense for you but at zero percent interest y'all can make extra payments on that interest free which will knock down that principal even faster so definitely Take advantage of discounts and apps and coupons and savings. Google it if you have to. Just Google whatever it is your student loan servicer is, discounts. Wherever you're going to grocery shop, Google discounts. Check those circulars in the mail. Check for those savings that can save you time and pay off your student loan debt early. Another realistic way for how I paid off my student loan debt early was I made the most out of gatherings. Like, what, is, what does that even mean, gatherings? You know, yeah, like friends and family gatherings. So we're talking about like birthdays, like my birthday, Christmas, and any other holiday or gift giving exchange what does this even look like what do you mean for me i was a part of a church group and as part of that group we threw events for church members and sometimes at these events there would be food and we'd order food and quite honestly if you're at a friend's friends giving or if you're out and you're at a party somewhere and there's going to be food there don't be ashamed to be the person to take a plate home. If you bring something and you contribute to the party, don't feel bad about taking a plate home. I am someone who has hosted events and I have attended events and I can tell you as a host, one of the things I loved was when people took food back with them. Like, oh my God, I didn't have space in the refrigerator or the event venue didn't have space to take, you know, we couldn't take stuff home with us and so we would Definitely we would ask people, beg them to take food home. There's no shame in that. And so if you're looking to pay off your student loan debt early, do what I did and say, hey, where's the foil? Where's the foil? I'm getting a plate to go. And 10 times out of 10, the hosts were so thankful. They didn't have to clean up. They didn't have to throw any food away. They didn't have to go ride around and find some charity to donate to. They were able to give it to the people they know and love and really help them out during a difficult time. And if you're paying off student loan debts early, you're gonna kind of be tight with your money. So having a free plate of food at the end of the day is so nice and it saves you money and time. Just think if you're working a job and you're working a second job, y'all, if, if you know the feeling of coming home to a plate of food already prepared that you just put in the microwave after working one and two jobs a day, like, ugh. Y'all, that is life-giving and saves you money because that's less groceries and less time you have to spend cooking. And along those lines, if it's like a gift-giving holiday and say it's your birthday and you know your parents or your friends, you know, customarily you buy gifts for each other, just ask for gift cards for things that you need help paying for. You can ask for gift cards for your cell phone carrier. Like, did you know that most major cell phone carriers offer some type of gift card? Yeah. Ask for gift cards to cover things like your bills or any types of fun that you can't afford, but you know 
you would like to for your birthday, ask for those gift cards and then use those gift cards at a later date. That's future fun that you don't have to pay for that you can take advantage of. And the money that you might have spent on that, you can now put towards debt. So you guys, I am not playing with this at all. Look, I'll even show you. Like here is a Chipotle gift card I still have, a Visa gift card, District Taco gift card, another Visa gift card, a Target gift card. Y'all, I keep these. The goal here is to cover expenses so that you can reallocate that money to paying off student loan debt and still getting cool stuff, cool things for yourself in the meantime. Number eight is to reduce your expenses by splitting the bill. So if you have the opportunity to get roommates and split the electricity, the rent, Hulu subscription service, Netflix, if you can split those bills with someone else, that reduces the burden on you and guess what? You can redirect that money towards student loans. I did this, I split the bills and boy what a lifesaver that really, really was. If you can't split the bills because you lived alone, which for a period of time, for a couple of years while paying off my debt, I lived alone. I lived outside of a commuting area. Like I live in the Washington DC metro area, also known as the DMV, and it's considered a luxury housing market. It is crazy expensive, but I saved so much money by just relocating to a suburb right outside of the DC area that's still within a commutable distance. And that saved me over $800 a month. Just that one move, $800. The average amount of rent for a one bedroom apartment is over $2,000. But just by moving to about 30 minutes outside of that area, my rent <laughs> plus commuting expenses was less than $1,200. So right off the bat, just by moving a little bit away and still within a commutable distance, I was able to save so much money. So consider splitting the bills or if you can't split the bills, moving outside of a major area where you can potentially save a lot more money. So tip number nine is to use all those methods I talked about to pay off your debt early. I use the Dave Ramsey's debt snowball method where I took the smallest student loan debt and just paid extra on it. Once that was paid off, I took that payment and the extra I was paying and applied it to the second student loan. And I kept snowballing that all the way until all the loans were done. I also paid on a bi-weekly basis. So I made two payments a month, which essentially would make one month's payment a year because there are 26 paychecks, 12 months, and so there are two months where you would receive an extra paycheck. So I use that money to pay off debt. I used any tax return money to pay off debt. All my savings, I use that to pay off debt and I just snowball that thing. And that really got a lot of momentum. In each one of those bi-weekly payments, I paid more than a minimum. Whatever extra dollar I had, literally every dollar I had, I used the Dave Ramsey debt snowball method to pay it towards my student loan debt. And I saw such fast results that I got really excited and I just kept wanting to do it and do it again and again and again and again. And that's how I paid off my debt early. Keep in mind there are student loan forgiveness programs out there, but honestly, those take at least at minimum 10 years of consistent payments every single month. And I paid off my student loans earlier than that, four years earlier. So by snowballing all of my payments, I was able to pay off my student loans early. Tip number 10 is to find cheerleaders. Tell people about your debt. I know it sounds counterintuitive because we have this sense of shame around our debt, but honestly, the more people you tell about your debt, the more people you tell, hey look, I have this debt, but I am paying it off and I will pay this off, the more you'll find that people are gonna be on your side. Not only do you need to tell people that you have debt and that you're gonna pay it off, but you also need those people on your side who applaud you for what you're doing, who are encouraging, who are motivating, who aren't trying to get you to spend, spend, spend on this and spend, spend, spend on that. You want people who understand your goals and are there to support you. Some of the best people that I had in my life were those who had student loan debts and who paid it off early too and they knew what it was like and they encouraged me when I got to those moments when I was like, oh God, I, I can't do this anymore. Like this, this sucks, this is rough. And there will be those times. And those were the same people who gave me encouragement and motivation to keep going. And when I paid off my first loan, my second loan, they were right there with me to say, yeah, I told you you can do it. See, doesn't it feel good? And it was really invaluable. Don't discount the value of community when it comes to paying off your student loan debt. You may feel embarrassed, but really don't be. There's so many people out there with student loans. I mean, it surpassed 
credit card debt for heaven's sake. So don't be embarrassed about it. It's going to take grit, determination, prayer, and motivation to pay off your student loan debt. So if you don't have anyone in your corner, just put a comment down below and I will be your cheerleader because I know what it's like to pay off student loan debt. It is rough, it is hard, but it can be so rewarding once you finally get it paid off. So find those cheerleaders who will encourage you and motivate you because guess what? There's no magic button that'll just eliminate your student loans and if there are, and sometimes there are, it's few and far between. It's gonna take grit and motivation and accountability matters. You need to stay positive, stay motivated, and guess what? You can do it. Like, don't listen to anyone that says you can't. Knock them out of your life. Like, you can pay this off. If I can pay it off, you can pay it off. So use this as your motivation. Play this video whenever you're feeling down. I will be your cheerleader. You can do this. You can pay off your student loan debt early. It is possible. I am living proof, and you can do it. Paying off your student loan debt is a long-term game, and the stuff that I did to pay off my student loan debt early is no, by no means the entire list of everything you should do. There's so much more that you can do. And matter of fact, if you're doing them right now, type it in the comments down below. Share your tips for paying off your student loans early, all the realistic ways you did it in the comment section down below. Let this be a community. Everybody contribute your ideas, read cool new ideas that you haven't thought of before. Let's pay this debt down together, y'all. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll share with you my Excel spreadsheet for how I kept track of my groceries and my budget. And if you found this video helpful, motivational, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe so you'll be notified of when the next video will post. And thank y'all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.